I've covered a handful of modern nostalgic Minecraft mods on my channel, but this one takes it to the next level. I've definitely gotten super on board with the idea of a parallel timeline in Minecraft, or imagining what Minecraft could have been had it taken a different direction. I've heavily enjoyed finding these mods and showcasing them to you all. So if you're a fan of older versions of the game and are looking to spice up your experience without changing too much of the game drastically, and enjoy imagining an alternate universe where Notch coded the game in an entirely different way, do you wish Minecraft maybe took a more fantastical and magical direction? Well, look no further. Introducing Minecraft Diverge, which is a mod for alpha version 1.1.2 underscore 01. God, I'm so glad the version numbering was standardized in the modern game. Minecraft Diverge adds a few fun challenges and late game goals which are few and far between in vanilla Minecraft Alpha. Some new mobs, six new biomes, and tons more little things like extra blocks and features and creative mode. So you know the drill by now if you've seen any of my past mod showcase videos, let's go through some of the major features of Minecraft Diverge, talk about why it's so great, and how it fits into the broader scheme of the old Minecraft modding community. I mentioned late game content and goals to achieve being added in this mod. Again, vanilla Minecraft Alpha doesn't really have anything like that. Once you get all of the diamond tools, you've pretty much made it. Minecraft Diverge addresses this issue by adding several magical weapons, tools, and charms you can collect. You see, diamond isn't the rarest nor best ore in the game anymore. This mod adds two new rare ores to the game, ruby and sapphire ores. These ores are quite a grind to find and obtain, but the mod rewards you handsomely with brand new crafting recipes using the new ores. With rubies, you can make a ruby staff, which is an incredibly powerful magical ranged weapon that not only deals 10 damage per hit, but also lights the target on fire. Yeah, this one is fun. The sapphires can be turned into a sapphire staff, which deals 6 damage per hit, and no fire unfortunately. One of the most overpowered charms in the mod is the Warding Ring, which heals half a heart every minute automatically. So if you're out killing mobs at night and lose some health, you'll be at full health by the next night. This is crafted using both new ores. Hard to get, but a huge reward. Now, sapphires are probably the most valuable in my opinion. Another amazing item utilizing them are the wings. This differs from the Elytra and Vanilla Minecraft because you can, well, flap your wings by spamming spacebar. This is hilariously fun, yet extremely dangerous. In creative mode, which I'll get to a little later, it is much, much better than regular old flying. Anyway, with sapphires, there's also the repair kit, which allows you to repair your tools up to a certain point by just crouching. It's pretty neat. So sapphires and rubies aren't the only magical resource to collect. At night, the stars literally will fall from the sky. The mod incentivizes going outside at night by leaving star chunks scattered throughout the world. These disappear as soon as the sun goes up, so you have a narrow window of time to find them. Star chunks allow you to craft the Sparkle Staff, which is much easier to attain than Ruby and Sapphire. So the Sparkle Staff costs a little more mana to use and has much less durability. Wait, mana? Yes, I have been showing most of this in creative mode to avoid having to find all of these materials myself, but Minecraft Diverge uses a mana system in survival as a way to balance the OP items. Okay, so that's not all of the uses for the new magical resources, but I'll get to a few more block additions using them in a later section of the video. Minecraft Diverge adds six biomes and three new types of trees and wood to Alpha Minecraft. In this version of Alpha and vanilla Minecraft, biomes didn't exist yet. Those weren't added until the next update, Alpha 1.2. So Diverge takes care of that and revitalizes the world generation to include biomes with new types of blocks in the new biomes. There are the recognizable biomes such as the classic oak forest and plains and tundra, but looking a little further will lead you to a maple forest that has beautiful red trees mixed in with the oak. Maple wood is an addition that has light coloring and makes for good contrasting wood in builds. 
Another new biome with new trees is the mahogany forest that features huge mahogany trees looming over the landscape. Mahogany wood has a sort of red shade like it does in real life that looks really, really nice. The third type of new tree is spruce, which obviously didn't exist yet in the vanilla alpha version. These can be found in spruce forests or scattered in the plains biome. It looks well like spruce wood should, and seeing it in the alpha version of the game gives me way more joy than it probably should. Lastly, and probably my favorite new biome of them all is the savanna. This grassless, badlands-style biome has mahogany trees and bushes and hilly landscapes. The color palette just looks so nice and is a great contrast to the other, greener biomes. The mod also adds two new mobs to the game. Firstly, the fox. This one is pretty self-explanatory. The cute fox that they took forever to add into vanilla Minecraft has entered the alpha version, which I love. They don't really have much use in this version of the mod, but there are plans to expand the fox mob for future versions. Next is a new hostile mob called the Phantom. These are different from the god-awfully annoying vanilla Minecraft phantoms. They are ghostly looking mobs that attack extremely fast with a melee attack. They are strong, but have a severe weakness, light. Light deals damage to them. So if you're going around at night, make sure to always have a light source with you. Like I said earlier, I've been showcasing most of the mod in creative mode to make things a little easier for me, so let's talk about that real quick. You can open up the creative menu with the C key, and honestly, this is one of the better modded creative menus I've ever seen. I don't know why some are so complicated, and don't get me started on the vanilla version. Minecraft Diverge has everything in one window, separated very clearly by category. But the best part is navigating from the sidebar to get exactly what you need immediately. Something about it is so satisfying, whereas other ones I've seen are clunky and not organized very efficiently. So shout out to the dev for that. Unfortunately, there's no flying, but you can infinitely use the wings, and the sprint is insanely fast, way faster than survival. Wait, sprint? <laughs> yeah, I keep accidentally mentioning things I haven't mentioned because this mod is so extensive. Sprint was added with a stamina system shown where the hunger bar should be. It's extremely nice to sprint in alpha. Anyway, the rest of creative mode is pretty self-explanatory. The usual insta mine and unlimited item stacks. Next, let's talk about a couple of the notable block additions. There's a ton, so I won't go through all of them, but there are a few late game overpowered ones I hinted at earlier that I want to mention. First, the blaster. This is a hyperspeed furnace that is really expensive to make. It takes an entire ruby block in the recipe. It smelts items at quadruple the speed, with the balance being it also uses fuel twice as fast as a regular furnace. So technically it is twice as fast as a furnace if you think about it that way. Um, I, at least I think that's how the math works. Anyway, the other OP block is the Refabricator. Using Stardust, which you can get by smelting star chunks as fuel, you can not only repair near broken tools, but also duplicate blocks. This is obviously incredibly useful for things like infinite diamonds, all from a fallen star. These take a full sapphire block and diamond block to create, so it takes a while to get one, but being massively rewarded would be an understatement. Pretty cool stuff. On a lighter note, the mod adds a few new stone style variant blocks to the game. This being marble, slate, and granite, each with their own unique color for even more building options. They can also be crafted into slabs and stairs and polished for even more building variation. Lastly, there are a couple small things that are my personal favorite features of the mod I want to mention. Firstly, the R key. The R key allows you to see all crafting recipes for the selected item. It reminds me of too many items, but it's all built into the mod, so you don't have to worry about it. I wish that all mod creators would take the time to do this, because most mods add so many new items and blocks that it can be a pain to find recipes, or just not know them at all. Oh, and you can also press R on materials, and it will show all things they can be crafted into, even for vanilla blocks, which is awesome. Kudos again to the developer on this one. And the last thing I'll mention is the mod expands the dungeon system extensively. 
In vanilla alpha Minecraft, dungeons were incredibly rare and contained really bad loot at the time, so there was no incentive at all to look for them. Minecraft Diverge rewards you for venturing out by increasing the spawn rate by a lot and giving better loot rewards within dungeons. You can even find them cracking through the surface if you look long enough. I think one of the best things in Minecraft is exploration, and Minecraft Diverge adds that sense of wonder back into Alpha. Well, what do you think? If there are other mods like this one you'd like me to check out, leave a comment below. I've left a link to install Minecraft Diverge, and I can't recommend it enough. As for me, be sure to subscribe if you're brand new to the channel for a potentially endless Minecraft nostalgia experience, and leave a like if you enjoyed this mod showcase and want to see more. Special thanks to my channel members on these signs, with a special shout out to my knights Crimson and Thomas Wellman Boyd, and my beloved lord members Vapichu, VI, and Dirty Dan. Oh, and I just want to say thank you so much for 20,000 subscribers. I mean, that is just fucking crazy. I love you all so, so very much. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.